welcome to my vlog and for those of you who've watched my previous vlog welcome back to my vlog for today's video content i will be sharing with you how gail CHSI operates during online classes it is more likely my experience as a senior high school student of hsi who is subjected to online learning so if you are interested to how a health science or health allies operates despite the situation that we are in well then don't keep your eyes on the screen because without further ado we are getting started. As we all know, we are under isolation, meaning we are forbidden to go out, to involve ourselves into huge crowds, and we can't even closely interact to our friends or family members. These health measures being implemented have impaired a lot of people's daily activities and practices, and that includes us. Students. As I've mentioned from the first video, we the students were already immersed online class even before the pandemic had started. It is more likely known as blended learning where most of the time spent for learning is done within our classroom. But there is a specific day in a week where a art class is held online. That is why most of us are familiar with the elements that we are using. We've gone through use of series of platforms, but as of now, most of our professors or teachers are using Google Meet and Microsoft Meeting. We also have virtual simulations, aka virtual laboratories that help helps us further understand the specific topic we are in. For subjects like human anatomy and physiology, we had blood testing, we have seen coagulation of blood, which implies that they are neither a qualified donor nor a recipient through this. We also determined which blood type is a universal donor like O and recipient positive AB. We also have the virtual laboratory for the epithelial cells under the microscope, which helps us differentiate the faces of the skin. Other subjects like chemistry and Physics also have virtual simulations which helps us better understand how we can solve problems. You may be wondering what happens when one loses his or her internet connection. Well, in that case, Dale Smith as I requires students to accomplish an excuse form stating the reason why he or she missed the class during a specific period of time. The excuse form is a downloadable OVCA form which can be seen from the Dale Smith as I website. After filling it up, the student must send it to his or her advisor which then will be sent to the teacher concerned. The excuse must be valid for it will be subjected to judgment of whether or not one should be given consideration for possible missed output. In a long-term loss of internet connection, the same process applies. The only difference is that most of the student's time will be rendered on his or her personal face, meaning he or she will be studying based on his or her time management and preference. The school also played its part by giving away books that are in line with what is taught online. So if in any case, the student still has a learning instrument offline because the book's content is completely aligned to that of taught online. That is why for students who have access to Wi-Fi, they practice the triangulation method wherein they study both book and online resources as a key to mastery. Dale Sumich is I also hold school events led by the student council officers. These events are analogous to what the students are supposed to experience like that of physical class setup. Events like Teacher's Day where any of the student council officers had actually gone beyond their mile by sending the teachers gifts like iPad stands and many more. We also have the online orientation for parents and guardians, Feed and Senior High School Days, 2021 virtual program. and playoffs wherein they play the CODM, Mobile Legends, and Valorant, and Manwork. With all the said events, it all comes into a common denominator of acting as a breather for the students, a way of somehow allowing the students to relax for a short span of time. Another thing that we wouldn't miss out on the events are the performances of the different accredited organizations existing within Dills MHSI. Yale's MHSI has a lot of different organizations which I mentioned in my very first vlog. These organizations are actively engaged to the events held through lives. In fact, they themselves have an event called as the Org of the Day, wherein they perform as a potential and promising org. They showcase their God-given talents and honed skills. They fuel and boost the atmosphere of the event and is one of the key factors to making the event happen. These organizations, regardless of the online setup, still hold additions to acquire new members and to continuously promote growth and possibly scout their talents. The addition process for each organization 
organization may differ depending on the needed skills or talent which the org stands for. They may also hold different qualifications around. But one thing is for sure, you must showcase your talent in line with the organization that you wish to be in. Say for example, if you audition for a singing org, then it requires you to sing either pre-recorded or live through a specified platform. For dancing organization, it is a given for you to showcase your dancing skills. Same goes for theater organization. As an aspiring stage actor, you must show your acting skills. If you like debate, well then the organization will require you to debate on your stance. So if you are thinking which you think your talent belongs, you must go ahead and follow their social media accounts like Twitter, Facebook, and or Instagram. I believe these platforms are where they post updates about the audition process, like the platforms they will be using for the audition, forms you must fill up, and the requirements needed for you to qualify. A whole year is indeed a great process of learning. All have been done and accomplished in an online set of every day before Monday, lagi natin sabihin, may tawid ko lang itong week na to. Now, who would have known? Finally, after several na itawid na weeks, you have finally reached the end. With that, Mom deserves a reward and a recognition for the spirit he or she had all throughout the school year. In DOSMHSI, we hold online class recognition. There are virtual certificates indicating the recipients and awardees and words of appreciation, of course, for the job well done. Woo! What a good way of feeling validated and appreciated. DOSMHSI never forgets recognizing and appreciating their students. Finally, in this video, I will be giving out tips that will surely help you overcome the grave process of online learning in the LSMHSI. I want to give credit to the Student Council for allowing me to share some of their tips. They never fail in helping their co-students like me. Number one tip is have time fully away from account-related stuff. If possible, away from your gadgets. Like, you know, embrace nature and a time to reflect on yourself, to introspect, and to realize who you've become. Such those things. Number two tip is keep in touch with family and friends because it will really help you or us to relieve our stress especially if we are your number one source of strength right? Number three is time management is the key to success and I truly believe in that. I know that a lot of people who rely on time management will really support me in this. Number four, don't just find time for rest but make time for it. Number five is identify how you learn primarily to be more efficient in learning, right? So if you are a auditory learner, visual learner, you must find out as early as you can. For me, I prefer writing while listening or like having, especially having visual presentation in front of me. And I believe that it may be different for you. Number six is set short-term goals that will help you reward yourself. You must reward yourself after reaching that goal. It is more, more motivating in a sense. If I reach the end, I will get this. This is my reward and this is what I deserve. That is gonna make you feel that you're more deserving of what you're gonna get or the reward that you're gonna get. Number seven is change study settings. Number eight is always carry water with you for synchronous classes or when writing up lecture video. Sabi nga ni Mimi, yeah, drink, drink your water. water. Number nine is think of how I got here and how far I can get in the future. So one way to cope up is to have a right and great mindset. Yes. You've gone through a lot of process and yet you're here right now. And that implies that you've been strong. Number 10 is list all the requirements you need to accomplish so that you can plot them and create an organized schedule when you're going to do them. My number one tip about this is you need to you know, write down the requirements. And then the second thing to do is like write down your priority. If you need to prioritize something from the requirement list, then go ahead and jot them down and then do them accordingly. So number 11 and lastly, do requirements as soon as possible to avoid cramming which stresses the students more. Diba? Alam niyo yan, pag nagkakram na tayo, biglang, ah, ano na to, hindi ko na alam. Yes, yeah, so to avoid cramming, we need to be efficient. We do not need to cram. You know to yourself na matalino ka. So go get it, girl! And that is it for my video today. So if you haven't watched my very first vlog, if you guys are interested on the experiences of these grade 11 students, especially from a health allied school, well then go ahead and watch my video from my previous vlog. Before this video ends, I want to express my warmest congratulations to every single individual who graduated this year, most especially to my batchmate, Batch Accelerate 2020-2021.
why. Let us applaud ourselves for overcoming all the obstacles and setbacks that we have faced, especially in this time of crisis. Your dedication, enthusiasm, and insight truly inspire others to do their best. So keep it going, XO Raya. Again, congratulations. May you once again conquer your college life and surpass all the obstacles and setbacks that there is as you gear towards immense success. And that is it for today, guys. Stay hydrated, stay healthy, and stay